Hey, guess what's in the shop, friends? So, first thing I did, oh, she's tripping all over stuff. First thing I did was uh, put my rad fan on ignition power instead of live battery because the fan stays on too long. That's one of those little tweaks I had to do. Then, I added that. Watch your ears. I had that in a car over 30 years ago and I gave it to a friend and he just gave it back to me. Um, next is gas gauge failed. And I've been poking around the instrument voltage regulator crapped out and I took the gas gauge out of the hole dusty I guess I should clean that before I do what I'm gonna do so um, in light of everything that's going on with this truck it's got a 75 fuel tank in it so the ohms resistance is that of the 70s truck but car, I think the resistance is the same across the Dodges. Now, this is the old one. I didn't want to trash it. So I'm going to just leave it alone. Put it in a box somewhere. Maybe someone will need it because it still works. What I've done, and this is like DD Speed Shop Special Hackery, is I took some old duster dart cluster apart a friend had given me and I drilled a hole in it and it will fit in the back of that cluster uh, I don't have enough room for a screw on this side unless I started detailing that little rivet out to make a little tiny bracket but foil tape works really well I'm going to set this in the uh, instrument panel hole and I'm going to screw it on it's going to be back set, but in all reality, it lights up better than the old one did. So I'm going to leave it at that. So uh, what I'm going to do is do this, and then I'll bring you back and uh, tell me what you think. So far for the course, the first part of the video, I held my phone the wrong way. Firebird front clip, that's supposed to get all cleaned up and, well, you know, one of them things. Priorities, man. So, we'll call it that a shadow box. So, it's, I'm gonna see if I can, okay, stop shaking. Oh well, passenger won't like how it looks. That's okay. I already cobbled in a temperature gauge. That was one of them little inch and a half round ones. Can kind of see it. It's good enough for me. Yeah, that's probably about all the gas I have in it. You seen the price of gas lately? Anyway, um, yeah, so that being said, hindsight being 2020, um, I saw on the back of the fuel gauge, and I'll have to check another cluster I have. It almost looks like there's a little hole where you can put a screwdriver in and maybe adjust it, tweak it if you need to. I don't know. As long as I know I'm near empty or near full. That's all that matters to me. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up for the day. Boot this old girl outside so I can get ready for work tomorrow. And let's see. I got cup holders to do. And passenger side mirror. Apparently the wife would like a mirror on her side. So <clears throat> this will be my first attempt at making a, hang on, let me grab a mirror. Let's see if we can, I don't know if anybody's, I've seen them done on taillights and stuff, maybe the occasional mirror, but you take nuts and bolts and you make a mount like that out of nuts and bolts, like a, like a, a skeleton hand.
that's that's my intention that should be a fun build just like that and this is a convex mirror which will be good it'll give me lots of side view uh, what else have i got in there i think that's it oh this is the stuff we'll use for the cup holder mount Uh, and I think that's all I got to do. Uh, check the front end and give it an oil change and I should be good for the summer. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.